Wait. Curly. Okay, so your question is... These leaves that are coming out all curly and... Contorted and... Yes, and then there's also this um, black... You can see it in here, this kind of black yuck on the on the fruit itself. Right. Some of it's on the leaves too. Right. So that is the black stuff is sooty mold. And sooty mold is an airborne fungi that reacts from the poop of aphids, white flies, and other homopteras. So if you see the black mold here on the lemon, all you need to do is look underneath the leaf above it and there's a little bit of citrus white fly here and then on this leaf there's a lot more uh -huh. so citrus white fly is not one of those white flies that gets really out of control it makes a little bit of a mess and that's about it at least in california you can see some in here this is something i would just deal with on a hose blasting level for this kind of citrus light white fly it's just not worth the efforts of spraying for it. It's not like white fly on tomatoes or fuchsias that will eventually just overwhelm the plant. And then okay. the contorted foliage is citrus leaf miner. The best thing you do at this point, because the leaves will never recover, you see the, the sheen in here that looks like actually snails have been eating it. The best thing to do is just take the pruners and trim it back. Like this big section here. Yeah. Just take it off. Take it off. And all across here. One, it's just going to cause a tree to branch out more densely so you'll get more blooms. The more often you prune a Eureka or Lisbon lemon, the more blooms you're going to get. Even the commercial groves in Santa Barbara and Ventura, the ranchers prefer to have their trees hand pruned instead of machine pruned. Just sometimes it's not cost effective for them to hand prune them all. Uh, it, so you get in here and hand prune it back and then you can treat the tree with spinosad and you'll prevent this uh, contorted ugly growth from coming out. And I wanted to say this is for California because in Texas and Florida you have your own issues that could be confused with citrus greening disease. But in California we have citrus leaf miner and it leaves this glossy destructive trail right here that gives the appearance of slugs or snails being on here. So you just take that off and then as the new growth comes back out spray with spinosad which is a registered natural pest control product and that will also reduce some of the citrus white fly and also pick your fruit when it's ready and you know, you've got a lot of really ripe beautiful lemons on here better to harvest them and share them with friends and leave them on here where they get too ripe and become a, a pest problem in themselves when they're ripe, you know, harvest it and share it. You know, squeeze them and freeze the lemon juice for, you know, margaritas later on. All right. If you don't want it, believe me, I drink a plenty of tequila these days and I'll use the lemons. So. I'll give you some. You can see that really nasty growth up top. It just needs a big butch back across the head here. And we are having a drought right now, so I don't want to really put any more fertilizer on here to encourage more rapid growth, but we do want to get rid of all this bad, ugly growth.